So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, what we have is we have a triangle. Now, obviously, guys, you can see that B is like 150 degrees, right? So this doesn't really look like B would be 150 degrees. Well, that's OK, guys. You can have different oblique triangles. OK? You can have an obtuse oblique triangle. All I do is I just created and made it obtuse, right? But just remember, oblique, it is not going to have a right angle. This does not have a right angle. That's 150 degrees now, OK? But again, all we need to make sure when applying the law of sines is that we have a ratio with a side length and an angle, which in this case we do. We know that the side of B is 30 degrees over the sine of 150. Now, the only other information I have is C, right? So I can't do anything with A right now. I can only use C. So the only thing I know about C is its uh, side length, which is 10, and I need to solve for the angle. So again, apply your cross multiplication. So you can say 30 sine of C equals 10 times sine of 150 degrees. Now again, we need to solve for C. Now remember, it's not when you have C though, it's taking the sine of C. So you can't just like divide out a sine or something. That is a function. We can divide by 30. But now I have the sine of C equals 10 sine of 150 degrees over 30. To solve for C, this is a function. To solve for this, we have to now take the inverse of sine. OK? Yes? Was it wrong for you to simplify 30? No, you can simplify that. It's not going to be a problem. I just, just wrote it out. But yeah, you can definitely reduce that down. So now, um, all I can do is take sine of 150 divided by 3, right? Which is that simplified? Mm -hmm. So I can just take sine of 150 degrees divided by 3. Then I take the inverse sine of that. And that gives me 9.59. Again, for this chapter, we are going to be reducing down to the hundredths. So I'll say C equals 9.60. All right. What if I cross out the sign and got 10? Huh? What if I cross out the sign and got 10? Well, cross out the sign. I cross out the sign and I get the answer. I don't know. I'd have to go and look at your answer. Any questions from here? Because we're not done. Mikhail, Mikhail, we're not done. We're not done. Oh, OK. So now I know what C is, and that's a degree. So now I can say C is 9.60 degrees. That's 150 degrees. Now I'm going to ask you guys a question. This is going to be my precluding question. Is it possible to have more than one obtuse angle in a triangle? Yeah. Is it possible to have more than one 90 degree angle in a triangle? No. No. Remember that. Okay. It's not possible to have more than one obtuse angle, right? So does this seem fitting that that's 150? I know that this can't be larger than 90 degrees, right? Or it can't even be 90 degrees, right? OK, just remember that, because we'll come back to that. Um, so therefore, I have this. Now, is it possible for me to find this value? Yeah. It's really 180 degrees minus 150 minus 9.60 equals angle A, right? So then I'll just take 180 minus 150, which is 130, minus 9.60. And I get 20.4. Okay, so now can we go ahead and find can we go ahead and solve for a? Because now I know this information. Can I now set up an equation for a to find the length of a? Yes. And now I can do this law of sines on the other side. I already know what c is now. Now I can go and do this for a. So I'll, uh, can I erase my C? Oh, I'll just do it over here. That's fine. So now I can apply cross multiplication over here. And I'll just make this very simple for you. Um, again, I'll try to do this very quickly. So A equals 30 times sine of 20.4 divided by the sine of 150. That's me applying cross multiplication for the A's, for this over here. Okay, that's me doing that for A. So 
So then to solve for this, I just plug it in my calculator. 30 times the sine of 20.4 divided by the sine of 150. And I get 20.91. OK? And does that make about sense? Does that feel like right for the triangle? Yeah, yeah very good. OK.